Move on to the next section is the inquiry. This is pretty simple. Select a few names for your business. Uh, one of them um, will be your priority, and hopefully it's able to use it. You can also do an international search to see if someone else is using the name in another country. Uh, you could do it yourself, but it takes a lot of work. You might want to contact a company like Thompson & Thompson to help you do that. They will charge you a fee. Uh, I have a company, I just sold it not too long ago, uh, called Bada Bank. And uh, when I had Thompson & Thompson do an international search, um, I found out that there was a company in Minnesota called Bada Bing Baskets, um, but it didn't affect my company at all. So um, something you might want to consider is Thompson & Thompson for what they might be able to help you with. For the state of Ohio, go to sos.state.oh.us, go to business services, check on the corporations, and then you can search your databases to find out if the name is available. If it says um, dead next to it, that means it's no longer in business. If it says canceled, obviously that means that they don't, they're no longer in business. But if it says live, that means it's an active business. And if it's an active business, you have to be careful uh, of coming up with the same name. Now, this isn't so true with trademarks, but this is true with the state of Ohio when you're doing your business name inquiries. If no rows return, if, it, if nothing comes up, you do your search and nothing's there, that means no one has that name, okay? Otherwise, if names are listed, like if you just use a portion of the name or maybe it's a two-word name, you use just one word, you'll start to see how things work on the Secretary of State's site. So kind of play around with it a little bit. As far as the national search, I would recommend that you go look at the trademarks, uspto.gov. Uh, click on trademarks and then do the test system, which is their search system. Use the basic form and then type in your name and see what comes up. Once again, if it says dad, you'll understand what that means. Okay. If nothing comes up, once again, it's probably available. If you find out that you can't use the name, start over with a different name. Do a Google search, use quotation marks for better results. If you guys don't know how to use Google very well, that's a good clue. Um, if after your search, you find no records for the name, chances are it's a valid name for your business. And if that's the case, I would recommend that you buy a whole bunch of things at this point. Not only register the name, but I would go and get the Facebook account, get the Twitter account, get the get the uh, website, buy all these things, register for all the social media using the same name for everything that you do and start using it. So all the social media sites, and there's hundreds of them out there, but you're going to want to at least register the name with MSN and Yahoo and Google and all these other things so that um, if anyone types it in, they'll be able to come to you because you own all those uh, social media sites and websites and so forth. Okay, any questions on the business name inquiry? Uh, 